You finish? Okay, y'all can, if everybody, everybody that's finished, y'all go ahead and put y'all pencils down on the desk. So we have one more thing to do today before we leave. I noticed that the PTA meeting that we had yesterday, a lot of y'all fathers came. Mm -mm -mm. And my neck just a little sore. Hold on one second. I noticed that a lot of y'all fathers came and I just wanted to talk more about your fathers. So I'm going to call you up here one by one. I want y'all to tell me about y'all father and what he does for a living. Because a lot of y'all fathers, I can tell they're making a big bag. Oh, God, a big bag. I know they're making a lot of money. So I'm going to call y'all up here one by one. Johnny, sit, Johnny, listen, one by one. Show your ass down. Come on up here, Elizabeth. My dad repairs red cars driven by women who are pinheads. Pinheads? Girl, that's what your daddy called women? Sit down, because I know he had to be one of the big ones in the back that don't get no mm. Go ahead, next, you, you can come up here. My dad doesn't do anything since the crash. Oh yeah, I seen your daddy. He was in a wheelchair. Mm, bless his heart. He still can do something, work at home, job, something. That ain't no excuse, don't be like your daddy. Okay, next person, you, you can come. My dad gives money to people that doesn't have money. And then people use that money and then they give other money back and they give the same amount of money back to my dad. Your daddy got money. <laughs> he do loans? Is that, that's the word for it? What's your daddy name? Or, or what was he, what was your daddy name? My dad doesn't live with us anymore. He lives in New York and drives a taxi. Well, the way you be acting in class, I would probably rather drive a taxi too. I don't blame your daddy, but he wasn't at the PTA meeting, so you didn't have to come up here. Well, how, how your mama, like, how, how is your mom, since you're with your mom, how does she feel about the whole situation? My mom hopes he's going to die real soon. Dang. Y'all yeah. <laughs> kids don't care what y'all. Go sit down if I have car defect. Go. Come on up here, Big Liz. Girl, these kids don't care what they say. Let me write that down, though. <laughs> Dad works on computers and he's um, the boss of his company. And um, he has a mustache and a beard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Girl, spit it out! Talk! He doesn't have that much hair because, and he, his head is so big that he can't wear any hats. Okay, so, okay. The, the man with the mustache and a beard was your daddy? Girl, Okay, thank you, sweetheart. You can go have a seat. <laughs> oh, fuck no. My dad um, is a psychologist, and he helps people that are hurt or lost their feelings, and um, that's it. I'm going to need to talk. What's your, what's your daddy name? I'm going to need to talk to your daddy because I've been feeling so hurt lately. Y'all in a big house, ain't y'all? What's your daddy name? Tell him. Tell him. Your teacher, we, we, we need to talk to him because I've been feeling and I, and I don't have good insurance. Okay. I know your dad, he got that bank, huh? He got a big bank, a lot of money. Our mom says that our dad is a real sex machine. That's the one I was looking. I saw your daddy. That's the one I was actually looking for. And I, I kind of, it, that's not a, y'all should not say that anywhere. It's not a bad thing to say. But I'm going to have to talk to your parents about that because it's not okay for your mama to say that around y'all, okay? So I'm going to have to talk to your parents, but you can give me your daddy number. Sex machine. 